हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संजय गुप्ता इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ प्रोग्राम विच इज टू रीड अ टू डी एरे एंड प्रिंट इट्स एलिमेंट्स यू कैन सी दैट ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द प्रोग्राम इज रिटर्न इन फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट विच इज अ कमेंट देन आई हैव इंक्लूडेड अ हेडर फाइल एस टी डी आर डॉट एच फॉर प्रिंट एफ एंड स्कैन एफ देन मेन फंक्शन इज यूज इन साइड मेन देर आर वेरियस स्टेटमेंट्स इन विच फर्स्ट इज वेरिएबल डिक्लेरेशन हेयर आई हैव डिक्लेयर अ टू डी एरे whose name is a and number of rows and columns are 3 3 it means this array can contain three rows and in each row there will be three elements so in total this array will be containing nine elements to read uh, this 2d array i have used a printf statement it will print enter a 3 by 3 matrix message on console after printing uh, this message this nested for loop combination will read nine elements from the user so as you have studied uh, my tutorials uh, about nested looping uh, in case of nested loop this outer loop which is denoted by i will be executed first so i uh, is starting from zero condition is i less than 3 so if this condition is true as it is true right now then control will uh, enter into inner loop which is indicated with the help of j so uh, j is starting from 0 its condition is j less than 3 then inside uh, this j loop uh, scanf is written which is reading a number from console and it uh, will store that number uh, uh, into the index ij so first time i is 0 and j is also 0 so first element will be uh, stored inside 0 0 index then this j++ will be uh, executed so j uh, uh, j will occupy value 1 1 is uh, less than 3 condition is again true now scanf will store uh, the number entered by the user on 0 1 index because i is 0 but j is now 1 so after completion of this j loop control will transfer to i++ so i will become now 1 then condition is again true then this for loop will again start from 0 uh, then it will rotate until condition is uh, false so this for loop will be executed three times after completion of this j loop again i++ will take place so you can see that uh, when uh, i loop is executing one time then j loop will be executing three times so total nine elements will be read by the user uh, using this nested loop combination now using this printf statement the statement matrix contains will be displayed on the console after that i have again used combination of nested loop inside uh, i loop uh, there is another loop which is known as j so first time i loop will start from 0 it will check its condition it is now true then this for uh, j loop will uh, uh, will be repeated three times so it will print three numbers which are stored on index 0 0 0 1 and 0 2 after completion of this inner for loop that is denoted with the help of j this printf statement will uh, change the line of the cursor using printf slash n statement because inner j loop will print uh, elements of first row so uh, when we are going to print elements of second row cursor will be on second row so uh, for this purpose we have used this printf statement after execution of this printf statement control will again transfer to i++ then condition will be checked and again this inner loop will print the three elements of second row then this printf will print Uh, slash n it means it will move cursor to the next line so with the help of this uh, nested loop combination we can print the elements of matrix on console now i am compiling this code for error checking so there are no errors or warnings now i am executing this code so it is asking for nine numbers so i am entering nine numbers remember that we cannot enter elements in matrix format so we have to enter elements Uh, separately by pressing enter key so after completion of input you can see that the output is shown here matrix contains and this is first row 1 1 then second row 1 1 then third row 1 1 1 so i have entered 9 times 
so that's why it is showing one in each index of uh, matrix so three by three matrix is there and each row is containing three elements so friends with the help of this example you uh, might have understood the concept of 2d array how can we read elements of 2d array and how can we print those elements on console so implement this program on your laptop so that you can understand the concept very well these are my information uh, my phone number my email id you can write any difficult topic so that i can help you my website my android app that is tag ms you can download it from google play store it contains various uh, tutorials regarding c c plus plus and other programming languages you can also download ppts from tutorials.techms.in you can read my books related, related to various programming languages and you can watch my youtube channel that is sanjay gupta mm -hmm. underscore tech school mm -hmm. which contains videos regarding various programming languages so uh, follow these information for your benefit thank you for watching this video